In this nine-week series entitled Salt and Light, we're going to examine what the Bible teaches about various current issues. As an introduction in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus declares his followers to be salt and light. In Matthew 5 verse 13, Jesus proclaims, you are the salt of the earth. And then in verse 14, he adds, you are the light of the world. As salt, we are preservatives, preserving this world, doing our part to keep it from total degradation. Furthermore, as salt, we are flavor enhancers, good tasting to one another and to society at large. As light, we're to shine brightly in a dark world, offering the truth of God's word and purposing to live it out by the grace of God, by the enablement of God. In a representative democracy such as America, there is a privilege and a responsibility to vote. Our political leaders are chosen by the people, and the morality or the lack of morality of our political leaders reflects the morality or the lack of morality of its people. Hitler argued for the church to not concern itself with the earthly life of the people, which must be the domain of the state. The apathy of the church was a key reason why Hitler was able to hold the power that he did. The stakes are high. Babies are dying from abortion. The church must not be silent. Fentanyl is streaming over the border. The church must not be silent. Little children are being enslaved into sex trafficking and child slavery. The church must not be silent. It's been said that evil triumphs when good people do nothing. We have a responsibility to speak out and a responsibility to vote. And to vote for those who best uphold godly principles. Don't let yourself be silenced either by apathy or by intimidation. Believers in Jesus Christ are salt and light in this dark world. Let's not lose our saltiness, in which case we're good for nothing. And let's not hide our light under a basket. Instead, we're to let it shine brightly before all. Thank you very much.